let's say that we have to draw this endless screw for a purposeful mission or use so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come on new day i say standard millimeter and then i say create knowing that our dimensions are in millimeters so anyhow i'm gonna start by drawing my diameter so that is my first diameter and this one is my second one so i want my biggest diameter to be 100 millimeters so this is for a conveyor belt or something like that whatever you might name it as long as it's useful or the also so that's one need to be um uh, no let's go with 40 millimeters so that's one need to be 40 millimeters so in here i go into the model i say extrude so i want to extrude my smallest diameter that's one i want to go by one meter okay one meter enough so 1500 millimeters so i say okay i come here i say sketch visibility on visibility on i say extrude again so i want this one to be extruded by 1200 millimeters okay so both sides of my drawing plane so i come there i say okay right so once i have that one in place what i'm gonna do is I need to draw the shape of my coil so there is my drawing plane the new sketch here so once I'm here I go with a rectangle so I come here I go with a rectangle so there is my rectangle then I want this one here to be 180 millimeters so that is the height then I want now this dimension here to be that close eh? To be 20 millimeters so that is 20 millimeters so then i come on to the model i see coil so there is my coil so in here i'm gonna give the coil size that's one need to be 100 i mean let's say 235 235 millimeter 235 millimeters then the revolutions i want five revolution right so then i come the okay then I choose max against which I want my core to roll. So which one should be Z? Right? So it should be Z. If I chosen the profile, so I choose the profile. I choose the profile first. I come here. I choose the profile first. Then now Z. Then look how it looks like. So I want the side here, this core to go this other way. So I come there. I click on the right. So once I have that one in place, and then I say, okay. So look how it looks. So now I want to kill the corners. So I want this one here to be killed. So I want to kill it with uh, four millimeters. So that needs to be four millimeters. So four millimeters here was 40. Not 42. Four millimeters. Four millimeters the mm, four millimeters this side as well. And uh, four millimeter here. Okay. So you press control and then you click on the shape so four millimeter there as well so give it a moment so once that one that one is done then i say okay right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have to kill the corners of the cylinder so that's one day no no let me kill the side so i want to kill that one day by four millimeter as well so that is done i come here i kill this one as well by four millimeters so that is four millimeters i say okay so once everything in place, well, the next thing that I need to do is to give the material. So what material must this be? So first, let me remove the visibility. Okay. So I want the visibility to be removed. Removed. So now I want this one to be uh, this stay still alloy. Right. That is perfect. Still alloy. So look how your endless screw looks like. So now it's ready for use. It's ready for use. So it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you're going to enjoy it. For now, I'm going to ask you to take care of yourself and see you on the next videos. Please stay home. You know what I mean, eh? Bye.